Hey what's up guys welcome to find gap youtube channel and in today's video i will teach you how you can create this type of login page so this is a complete responsive page it will look like this on pcs and it will look like this on mobile devices and this login page will look like this on tablet devices so friends video is going to be more important and before start please i request you to subscribe to our youtube channel for regular videos let's start so friends here you can see that i have a folder on my desktop and in this folder i have three files the one is style.css in desktop.html and this login.png so this is the image that i am going to use in my login page and here you can see that i have opened this project folder in my visual studio code and to the right side you will able to see the output first of all i will create a, a basic html structure here i will type responsive login page next i will link the style.css file with this html code next i will create a div with class container next i have to create another div with class image box and inside this div i will type the image tag next outside this image box i will create another div with class content box this div will be used for our login page image and inside this div we will paste our all login page content so i will type here div dot content next i will create an s2 element here and type here login next i will create a form here and inside this form i will create an div with class input box inside this i will create a label element and here i will type a word input user name the label would be username next i will create an input here of type text the placeholder would be enter username and id we have to copy this input username and paste this here in the place of id next i will copy this complete input box div and paste this div here i will type here password and here in the place of four i will type here input pass copy this and paste this inside your id attribute next i have to copy this div again and paste this here and now i will remove this input field and type here remember password and here i have to create an input with type checkbox next i will copy this div and paste this div here and i have to remove this label element and type here input of type submit the value would be login and you can see that i have an image named login.png so i will type the image name here in the source section login.png next open the style.css and type here star padding 0 margin 0 box sizing border box next i am going to use a google font in my project so i will open a new tab and type here google fonts click on the first link next i have to click on these three bars click on fonts here i will search for popins click on the font scroll up and here i have to click on select regular 400 click on view selected families import i will copy this link and paste this in the first line of my css file next i will copy this font family property and paste this css property here these properties will be implement on our each element inside our this index.html page next type here background color i will type this color code next i will copy this body element and paste this element here and type display flex justify content center align item center and height 100 vh and width 100 percent so these four properties will make our content at the center position of our screen next i will copy this container class and paste this class here and type width 100 percent height 90 percent display flex justify content center align item center so you can see that this first div and this second div these both divs are in the same line next i will type here margin 150 pixel border radius 40 pixel and temporarily i will type a border property here so you can see the border border one pixel solid black so you can see the border radius next i will type here overflow hidden next i have to create the new morphism effect on our this card that's pretty simple just i have to type here box shadow i will type these values 10 pixel three time minus one pixel type this color code rgba i will type 
10 99 in the place of green and 169 in the place of below and change its opacity to 0 0.16 next insert a comma here and type minus 10 pixel minus 10 pixel and 10 pixel minus 1 pixel rgba type these values for color 255 three time and change the opacity to 0 0.7 now i will remove this border property so friends you can see that we have add a new morphism effect on our card next i will copy this container class and paste this class here i will copy this image box class and paste this class here and type height 100 percent and width 50 percent and background color rgb 233 62 and 91 so i will use this color code here next i will copy this image element and paste this element here and then type these two copy these two classes and paste these classes here and here i will type width 100 percent height 100 percent so you can see the output and object fit cover so this is the one of most important property to fit our image in its container next we have to give the style to our this content to do this i will copy this content box class and paste this class here and before this paste the container class and here i will type display flex justify content center align item center and width 50 percent so you can see that our content is in the center of in its container and it have 50 percent width next i will copy this content class and paste this class here and before this copy these two classes and paste these classes here i will type one css property here width 65 percent and i will type here background color orange i will remove this background color property next i want to design this login heading so i will copy this h2 element and paste this element here and before this i will copy these three classes and paste them here to maintain the hierarchy here i will type color rgba 0 0 0 and 0 0.8 border bottom three pixel solid type this color code you can see the output next i will type here bedding five pixel text align center display inline block margin bottom 30 pixel font size 1.7 rem text transform uppercase and letter spacing 2 pixel so you can see the output next i am going to give style to our these labels so i will copy this label element and paste this element here and before this i have to copy this input box class and paste this class here here i have to type display block color rgba type these values and type the opacity 0.7 letter spacing 1 pixel so you can see the output next i am going to design these input fields so i have to copy these input element and paste this element here and before this i will copy this input box class and paste this class here type here width 100 percent height 50 pixel padding top and bottom 0 and right and left would be 30 pixel border radius 60 pixel margin 10 pixel and 0 outline none border none and type here font size 0 0.9 so you can see the current output and next we have to add the new morphism effect on our these input fields so i will copy this box shadow property from our container class and paste this class here and change these values from 10 pixel to 5 pixel I will also change this value and change this value from minus 10 pixel to minus 7 pixel minus 7 pixel and 5 pixel so friends you can see that the new morphism effect has applied to our this input field next i have to design this remember password field so what i have to do simply i will copy this class and element and paste this here and type here big bracket type equal to double quotation checkbox the style inside this block will be only implement on our checkbox so i will type here width 15 pixel height 15 pixel margin right 10 pixel margin bottom 20 pixel so you can see the output next we have to design our this login button so i will copy this and paste this here and here i will type input type submit because you can see that the login button has submit type in my html code here i will type background color i will 
simply copy this color code and paste here box shadow none color white you can see the output next we have to add the new morphism effect on our button so i will copy this box shadow property <coughs> and paste this here inside this block next i will change these values from 10 pixel to 12 pixel and also change this values from 10 pixel to minus 9 pixel next type here text transform uppercase letter spacing 4 pixel font size 0.9 rem and cursor pointer so friends you can see that our login button will look like this next i have to display social media icons here so first of all i will create a div here with class social media inside this i will create an i element and i am going to use font awesome icons in my project so first of all i will open the google and search here font awesome cdn because it is necessary to use these icons open the link i will click on this copy link tag paste this link inside your head section next open the google and search here font awesome icons click on this link icons and here i will search for facebook so i want to use this icon in my project so i will click on this next i have to click on this i element and i will paste this at this position so you can see a facebook icon here similarly i will search for youtube click on this copy this and paste this here next i will search for instagram click on the icon copy this i element and paste this element here so you can see the output we have three icons in our login page next we have to give style to our these icons to do this first of all i will copy this social media class and paste this class here and type here display flex justify content center and align item center you can see the output next i will copy this i element and paste this element here and before this i have to paste the social media class next i will type here padding 15 pixel margin 0 and 7 pixel font size 1.3 rem border radius 50 percent transition 0 0.5 second this time will be used in hover animation next i will type here margin top 20 pixel and color i will copy this pink color code from here and paste this code here next i have to copy this box shadow property and to paste this property here to create the new morphism effect on our social media icons so i have changed this value from 10 to 4 pixel 4 pixel and 5 pixel next we have to add the hover effect on these icons so simply i will copy this element and this class and paste this class here and type colon hover and here i will type background color i will copy and paste this color code and change the color to white so friends you can see a hover effect on our these social media icons so in the last we have to make this login page completely responsive to do this first of all i will give some css code that how our this login page will look on mobile devices so what i have to do i will type here at the rate of media maximum width 768 pixel so the css properties that i will type inside this block will be applied on mobile devices so here first of all i will copy this container class and we have to override this margin property from 150 pixel to 40 pixel so i will paste the container class here and type here margin 40 pixel next i will type here a container class and copy this image box class and paste this here and type here display none so you can see that our image is disappeared because we want don't want to display this image on mobile devices next i will copy this container class and paste here and next i will copy this content box class and paste this class here and type width 100 percent and similarly i will copy this both classes and paste them here and copy this content class and paste this class here and type here width 75 percent so friends our login page will look like this on mobile devices next we have to style it for tablets so i will simply copy this complete media query block and paste this here i will remove this container and image box class css so that's it so let me show you in a big screen so friends you can see that on big devices i means on pc or laptops our login screen will look like this next i will press f12 
so friends we have to make one changes in our code we just have to change this value from 768 to 962 so friends you can see the output our this login page will look like this on pcs and it will look like this on tablet devices and it will look like this on mobile devices so friends i hope you must enjoy this video if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please share this video with your those friends who want to learn web designing and subscribe to our youtube channel for regular videos and finally thanks for watching